So my ancestors etched everything into the tides of their tongues, and now, as a historian, when I retell the tales of my ancestors in a colonizer's English, I'm unsure if my act is one of resistance or oppression. I never knew what a Samoan poet looked like until I became one, and so if I can, if I can push the narratives of like what our, our community is limited to or what our community is, is told is acceptable methods of success, and really, you, for, for Pacific Islander uh, boys especially, that's military or football. Like, our, our value is, is directly based on the amount of violence our bodies can commit, and that's something that I've always wanted to f create a narrative outside of that. I sometimes still see my tongue the way an amputee feels the itch of a dismembered limb. It aches when I say my own middle name, Nuhutupu. See, I was born with the pride of my history, but no knowledge of my language. So swimming isn't always a choice you get to make. Sometimes the ocean's in your blood. Sometimes the ocean comes for you. So sometimes when people ask me about my weekend, I use going for a swim as a euphemism for binge drinking alone. Be loud and dream really loud and do weird things. I don't, I don't have to inspire anyone to be a poet, but if I can, if I can have one person say, I, I didn't know we could do that. Now I want to do something else. Hopefully I'm able to give back like what I've gotten from poetry, which is empowerment through storytelling. And that's, that's my goal and that's my hope. And so far I've been connecting with diaspora communities across the, the West Coast and Pacific Northwest. And it's been really, really great so far. So I'm gonna try to keep it up. <laughs> folks in Oceania just did everything through oral tradition, every, every kind of like science, every kind of genus of different species, uh, every, every tradition, every genealogy was all passed down through oral histories. Um, so I view kind of like the spoken word that I do as a direct kind of like continuation of Pacific oral tradition and kind of indigenous culture. So I'm um, browsing the deodorant aisle. Scanning what exploited people I'd like to smell like for the next month, and I can't decide between Axe's Africa Lynx and Old Spice's Fiji. 